What's up guys? It's me, The Real T. <laughs> Back at it again with another video. Today, we're doing something a little different. I am going to be making some cocktails. <laughs> I'm so excited because it's been a long time since I've had a drink. So, hopefully I do this shit right. I'm not a professional bartender. I was actually gifted this by Yelp Elite and Classic Jewel because I'm a self-proclaimed food critic. So, Yelp and me are like this and classic jewel teamed up with yelp and they gave a whole bunch of people free cocktail kits yes free you heard it right so this was gifted but i mean who doesn't love free stuff and who doesn't love alcohol and who doesn't love cocktails so anyways let's get into it so as you can see here's the cocktail kit from classic jewel in downtown las vegas uh we are going to be making a watermelon and basil mule and a strawberry cosmopolitan so as you can see i got all my ingredients right here and all you're going to be able to see really is my hands because i can't get the angle right it's just being stupid right now plus my cabinets are really tall and really thick they're thick, okay? So anyways, you're just gonna be seeing my hands basically, and then I'll show off the cocktail in 3D real time, so you guys can decide if you wanna, you know, make one for yourself. First, I think I'm gonna do, let's see, which one is easier? I'm not a bartender by any means, so I don't really know which one I'm gonna do first. I know I'm doing both, because your girl needs a drink, and every time I have something, it needs to have a friend. So I'm making two cocktails, so they can have a friend. <laughs> okay, so let's see which one is easiest. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna do the strawberry cosmopolitan first because I don't have a shaker, so we're gonna be using my um, my mason jar as a shaker because I don't know what else to use. So put all the oh my god they want all of these in here now i've organized everything to where i've got the stuff for the strawberry cosmopolitan separated from the stuff for the watermelon and basil mule so i am gonna go ahead and get started also i don't know how to measure in ounces so i just convert or i don't have anything that measures in ounces so i converted everything to my handy dandy tablespoon all right so first we are going to do the strawberry cosmopolitan because that one is the most complicated. So let's see. Put all ingredients in the shaker tin, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I've got my mason jar with ice. Now I'm going to pour three tablespoons of Grey Goose. Strawberry and whatever, whatever. I don't know if I can just pour this straight in, but we're going to do it this way just in case. I'm not trying to get hella fucked up tonight. Okay, and then one tablespoon of martini and Rossi Fiero. Thank you. And some white cranberry juice. We're doing three of this as well. Oh my god, hopefully I got enough room in this glass. <laughs> um, fresh lemon juice, one tablespoon. I'm so glad I did these conversions because I'd be so confused right now if I did this, if I was doing this um, without them. Oh, good. Okay, so we do have enough room. Thank God. Let me rinse this off. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is put this in my little mason jar because I'm horrible and I don't have. Um, I don't have a cocktail mixer, which I wish I did, but I don't. So let's shake it. Shake vigorously, actually. This one is going in this glass. I love this glass. It's so springy. Okay, so my mason jar is good to go. I'm definitely going to have to clean this afterwards. <laughs> that little baby serving, are you kidding me? Wow, I guess they really don't want me to get fucked up today. And then it says to garnish with this little orange slice, which looks a little sketchy to be honest. But we're just going to do it, okay? Because I want the full results. I want the full effects. Okay, you hear me? Okay. 
So, let's do this. Ah, it's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, so here we have the Strawberry Cosmo. It's my Strawberry Cosmo and the taste test. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm saving this recipe because this is fire, honestly. Mmm, wow. Also, this orange peel is like crystallized. Mmm, amazing. Classic jewel, amazing. Okay, that was the Strawberry Cosmopolitan. Now we are gonna, I'm out of breath, I don't know why. Okay, so now I've got my Grey Goose soda can, which is super, super cute, by the way. So cute. Um, and we are gonna make the watermelon and basil mule. So first things first, we need the Grey Goose essence, watermelon and basil. I'm gonna do three tablespoons. Maybe a little extra. Then an ounce of fresh lime, which is two tablespoons, and half an ounce of the syrup. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. That syrup was kind of thick. Okay, and then I need to put more ice in this, so one moment. Okay, so I got my ice in the cup. Now it wants me to put the Fever Tree ginger beer in. So we're gonna do four tablespoons of this. My hands are so shaky, like, it doesn't matter what the fuck I'm doing. They're just shaky anyways, which I hate. <laughs> okay, so now I just need to garnish with I've got a basil leaf and candied ginger. Ooh. This basil leaf looks a little suspect, but we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, baby. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing that. That looks a little a little suspicious. But we will do candied ginger. Watermelon and basil mule. Let's see. This cup isn't see through, so you're not gonna be able to see it. But I mean, it looks like the consistency of like lemon or lime juice. It's kind of got little floaties in it, which I don't know how I feel about that. Also, the basil I didn't use because this shit is clearly spoiled. But that's kind of my fault because I got this a while ago. So yes, this is the last one. Watermelon and basil mule. Let's try it. I actually like it. I don't know how to explain the taste though. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of got a kick to it though, low key. The good thing about both of these though is you cannot taste the alcohol, which those are my favorite. Like it's okay to taste a little bit, but when they overload with alcohol and then the other ingredients don't level it out, I hate that. I like a good balance, but these, you don't taste the alcohol at all. So if you don't like alcohol taste, you could definitely make these at home or ask for them in your local bar. But yes, Classic Jewel downtown Las Vegas. You could try both of these great cocktails. I really like this. It's really got a kick to it. Plus we still got our strawberry cosmopolitan. So cheers to that. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna drink all of the strawberry Cosmo later. Plus I need to eat lunch still. All right, you guys, well, thank you for watching today. Um, it was really fun. I think I need to do more videos like this. Maybe like 
me cooking or making more cocktails. Maybe I could find some recipes online and buy all the ingredients. Cause that was really fun. And I've had a rough week, so I needed, you know, something to take the edge off. Um, but as always, when drinking, please be responsible. Don't drink and drive. Brought to you by tea. <laughs> but yes, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video here. I'm about to edit it and upload it so you guys can watch it this weekend. So every weekend, I will be having a new video. I'm not really sure what I'm doing next weekend. Um, my friend is having a gender reveal. I'm not gonna say who, cause I don't know if, you know, I don't know how she feels about that. So maybe, possibly, I might record some of that, like a little vlog kind of thing. But this is all new to me, so please bear with me. But it's been really fun. I'm so excited to see where this goes because this is a really fun hobby. So I can kind of understand, you know, why people get into YouTube. And it's just been really great, honestly. So, as always, thank you for your support. Like, comment, and subscribe. And comment below what you want to see next time outside of my friend's baby shower. Let me know how you guys feel about me vlogging here and there, but I'm gonna try to vlog next weekend at my friend's gender reveal. I'm so, so excited. I love babies, but I am in no place to have babies right now. So I let all of my friends please have a baby because I will love it like it's my own. But yes, guys, so don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what cocktail is your favorite in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.